In this video, I'm just going to briefly show you our docking stations. Uh, our classrooms have these, and I suggest you set it up where you would normally set up your teacher uh, computer, wherever you want that to be, that's where your docking station should go. So if you're a person that projects a lot like I do, it's going to be up in the front of the classroom where I'll be doing a lot of my lectures and presenting. All right, so your docking station has a power cord inlet in the back here. And what that means is you have a power cord and a power source going to your laptop when it's docked. Okay, we have two power cords. We have one that's come with that came with our docking station, and we have the other one that came with our tablet. So I suggest leaving one at home and one at school, powering up your uh, docking station here. Okay, it's pretty easy. All you do is you take your teacher tablet, and if you notice it's got the funny rounded shape on top, you're just going to match that up and pop it in. You'll hear it click, and you know that it's locked in position. Okay. Um, just to show you on the back here, again, there's power here. There are additional USB slots if you have more devices to hook up. Here is your input for your wired internet connection. I suggest plugging that in. It's usually a blue or yellow cord that Mark will give us. Um, go ahead and have that plugged in your room as well because it's a better connection than wireless. So if you're going to stream some videos. Here's a funny trapezoidal shape, and this is how your projector is going to hook up wired. We do have wireless projecting too, but again, if you're going to be showing videos or doing movies, you're going to want to keep that uh, wired projection connection. Okay. Um, on the side here are, again, more connections. You have two additional USBs here, your headphone jack. Okay. On this side here, uh, another USB a camera cord, you know, the little funny plugs that you get with your digital camera, that's there. And on the bottom here is your CD-ROM drive. Now, your computer needs to be on in order for the CD drive to work. So I'm just going to open mine up, make sure it's running, so I'm going to slip my little side switch over here. And since I'm all powered up, if I wanted to put a DVD in, I would just come to this side here, press on the little button, and you can eject your DVD. Okay, so you've got to make sure the computer is on though for this to work. So you can go ahead and close that. Okay, removing this. So you're ready to go at the end of the day or you want to become more mobile. What you do is if you look in the top right corner here, just like with um, VCR, good old VCRs or DVDs, you have like an eject thing. You're just going to grab this latch, pull it, and you'll hear it unpop and it's unlocked. And then you just go ahead and take this off and take it home. Enjoy, play some Angry Birds, and then come back to work the next day. Thanks.